Hey yo, what's good, new gang? Today I'm going to react to Owen's pranks, showing a scammer his real passport, featuring Jim Browning. If y'all new to the channel, subscribe for more. Help your boys 20k subscribers. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm late with this one, but we finally here. Let's get it. You see that shit, dog? That, that shit's been popping out for uh, uh, ever since yesterday, man. Like that shit's been coming over and over again. What is that? Is this the only card you have? Because that will cost more money. Look, bro, they, they got a whole setup of fucking scamming ass motherfuckers, boy. That's crazy. Hey, why are you crying, man? What you've just seen is live footage from a call center in India whose sole purpose is to scam innocent victims out of their money. Last year, Americans lost an estimated $29.8 billion to phone scams. Oh my God, bro. Listen, if I don't know the number, and I'm getting a text, a call, a voicemail, an email, anything. I'm not touching that shit, boy. It's going straight to fucking delete. Because literally, they, they, there's ways that I've heard there's ways that they'll, any, any link you click on and you're not sure of, that's your information. Just by clicking the link, that's your information. That's wild, bro. This can only mean one thing. Phone scammers absolutely suck. By now you're probably very familiar with these scams. Some guy with an Indian accent and an all-American name like Bill White or John Jones calls you up and says, mm -hmm. uh, Hello, you're being given $10,000 from the IRS for being a loyal American citizen? Yeah, loyalty grants aren't actually a thing. Not everyone- Boy, these shit, they, and they try to get so creative, but it's like, it's how, it's like, it's so obvious it's a scam, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Everyone is aware that these scummy scammers exist. These people prey upon the disabled and the elderly because they're easy targets. Yep. You have to be a really terrible human being to swindle innocent old ladies out of their pension checks. So it's time for some well-deserved payback. And I brought out the big guns. If I knew how to do shit like this, you know, because there's a, there's a channel. I forget the name of it, but I, I'm subscribed to it. He pretty much like, he'll talk to these scammers and scam them. You know what I'm saying? If I knew how to do that, I'd do it. Cause it's like, fuck you for being a piece of shit. Here's a taste of your own medicine. You know what I'm saying? To help make it happen. I teamed Let's up with Jim Browning, goes. AKA the Liam Neeson of scam baiting to take down a shady operation called Tech Karma. It's mm. run out of India by a guy named Arjun Singh, who also goes by the fake name, Eddie Smith. I mean, he couldn't think of a better fake name. <laughs> Using the most Perfect. Caucasian names possible is a strategy these con men use to trick their victims. That's Jim crazy. Browning was able to infiltrate their operation and access all the private information on their computers. Looking at their sales figures, we calculated that Arjun and his henchmen have defrauded victims out of over $500,000 in the last nine months. That's over $50,000 a month. Yo. That's a lot of rupees, man. So here's how the scam works. Arjun's minions pretend to be from Microsoft tech support using a fake website called LiveMicrosoftSupport.com. And they spell Microsoft with two S's, so you know they're super legit. That's the thing, you gotta pay attention to these emails. There's misspelling, bro. As you probably guessed, these guys aren't gonna help you with your computer problems. They bro. are your computer problems. That Can I... you imagine a total stranger connects to your computer, locks it down, and holds it ransom until you pay an arm and a leg to fix it? Because that's exactly what these guys do. It's time to turn the tables. Jim was able to get a buttload of personal documents from Arjun and his employees. Scans to their much. passports, their home addresses, databases of their prior victims, even the resumes they use to apply to be scammers. We've got it all. We also have a virtual Crazy. computer setup, which makes the scammers think they're actually connecting to our personal computers. Can I call a preacher father? What do you call a preacher? What are these? Warning, <laughs> do not ever let a scammer connect to your actual computer because that they ass. can lock it and steal your private information. Don't be stupid. So let's see how these scammers like having their worlds turned upside down. That ass, bro. Oh my gosh, this is wild. Thank you for calling technical support. My name is Robin, how I can help you? Yeah, hey brother, I've been trying to call the guy on the account for uh, two days now. I haven't been able to get a hold of Arjun. Is he in the office there working? Uh, okay, let me check that. So I'm calling from the real BBX. We've been getting so many people calling to complain and I'm just trying to figure out what's happening so I can try to help him. Okay, let me check that. Let me check that with Arjun. Okay, or he's available now, right? No, he's on the call with someone. It's very urgent. Is his phone call urgent or can he hang up? Uh, no, he's talking with some, uh, some customer. So that's why. Yeah, customer, huh? Customer. Is that what you call it? Customers? Yes, stupid. Okay. All right. I'm going to try to call him later. Yeah, you can call back. 
Okay, okay, brother, okay. Oh, all right. Now I'm gonna call Arjun, the tip-top scammer who lives in a penthouse apartment in Dehradun, India. Remember, I have his ID card, his home address, That's even wild. his credit card info. Homeboy's about to sh** his kurta. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, hello, Mr. Yeah. Arjun. You're so hard to get a hold of, brother. Where have you been all day? Where you're calling? I'm calling with ZaridBBX.com. I, I know you have some business with us and we've been talking for a while now to try to make sure your implementation is perfect. Looks like we're getting lots of complaints here about the outgoing uh, calls, right? No, no, we do not need any help, okay? Everything is okay. We do not need to call back. Okay, but look, we've gotten so many complaints about Thank your you. account in, 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 in particular. Do not call this number. Do not, Listen, do not call you're stupid. Number. Are you stupid like your other colleague? I'm telling you, I'm calling from the real BBA. <laughs> Just to confirm, brother, you're seeing Arjun to gmail.com, right? Account ID on the real BBX, and your last payment was credit card number. If you have a problem, you take care of it. Do not call me. Do not okay, call so you me. You want me to close the account? Yes, you want me to close uh -huh. the account? Yes, you can close it. Close the account, right? Oh. Uh, okay, I don't. Thank <laughs> you. Brother, I'm gonna take the next plane to Daradun and come to the state so we can speak face by face. Eight, just to be specific. <laughs> Yo. Thank you for calling. Yeah, can I speak with Shumi, please? How are you, brother? <laughs> Welcome to my paradise. Are, are you ready Yo. to stop hanging up on me now, man? Let's just talk face to face, please. I'm trying to stop oh, the bottom of this. Help me so you I can don't help you. Call this number. Yeah, donkey. You Why said, don't you understand? Yeah, donkey. I'm gonna call you for the rest of your life. Now, Jim and I are gonna call Jamut. AKA Ryan. Uh, yeah, hi, this is Ryan Gosling with the IRS. I used to making hit movies like The Notebook, uh, but now I am working here part time. Uh, how are you? <laughs> He's one of Arjun's top earners and has scammed people out of over $125,000. Jim was able to connect to his computer, so we're able to f with him very, very hard. The hard. Bro, that, that's the thing, bro. Like, they know this information. I mean, maybe at the end he'll say it. They're not getting no jail time or nothing. They're probably back at it to where they are now. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Thank you for calling my sub. This is Ryan. How may I help you today? Yeah, hi. I've got a problem on my computer here. I've got like a blue screen and it's got an error message if you can help. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I'm sorry for the inconvenience, first of all. Uh, could you please help me with the error message? What does it say? Yeah, it's like a blue thing. I've, I've not seen it before. It's like w. a... This is Microsoft Alert. Uh, error 268D3X8938 and it's got like a loud warning. Oh, okay. Alright, let me just check the error code first. Let me okay. check what it for. Okay. okay. And what were you do doing when this thing came up? Oh, I was kind of looking up on the internet. My, my, I think it might have been my roommate. I, I, I don't. I've never seen this before. I don't know what the. I've got a roommate, Tyrone. And he, I don't know what he looks up on the internet. He's, he's just. It could be anything. You know, he's. God knows what he looks at. I understand. Now the alert that you. I mean the error message. I mean error code that you just gave me. This error code that there might well be it is a suspicious activity on IP address due right. to a harmful virus I, I'm gonna kill him because you know I, I, I he's a roommate and I, of mine he he just I found him in the country I should, should have known better he's this is your fault Tyrone uh, I knew uh, it was you yeah, he's gonna. Uh, fix, can you can you fix this? Because it's just sitting. It's all locked up. I oh my god. That. So, uh, first of all, before I move towards fixing it, I need to understand the problem in a better way so that I can give you the perfect uh, solution for it. What, what do I? Perfect. And you said perfect, my boy. I need to do. Okay. First of all, so pl please check if you have any control over the mouse. Uh, like, can you click on anything? Can you? Uh, do that it? keeps moving. That's it's. it's uh, please, uh, you know, uh, please click on the question mark once. 
Wait, hold up. Yeah. Before y'all change it though, like, am I gonna be able to keep those pictures of Mia Khalifa and stuff that I downloaded, or is this gonna make the, the PC uh, wipe everything? Uh, we right now we are focusing on the problem. <laughs> After that, we will talk about it. Got you. Well, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Please okay, type in your first last name uh, in the name box, and I'll give you the support key. Hey, look at that! Look, look! All these warnings. What are all these warnings? Now, something was trying to send in your login or recovery information. This is what it tells me. You see, I told you you shouldn't be on those websites. Oh, shit. That's what happened. I told you we should just put a premium subscription together, brother. Like, if we keep going on, like, tours well, and stuff like that, we, we're always going to get, like, a virus. I told you, man. Like, Pornhub's only $10. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's, what's that there? There's just, like, a... What was that? This is what the scammer is seeing on his computer. Doug pulling his own. Oh my god. Where is that? Yeah, so you see that dog? Bro. That's been popping out for uh, ever since yesterday, man. Like that's been coming over and over again. What is that? Yeah, it's what's it? What, what's it's dragging something on the screen there? Yeah. Honestly, man, we gotta fix this computer, dog, because like, I can't be logging into my work and stuff on this. Look at the dog. over there. I can't read that. What's that? Who is this Jim Moot guy? Who is that? Oh, uh, I'm listening to Jim, by the way. Jim Moot, Jim Moot, yeah, Jim Moot. No, uh, my the scammer begins to suspect he's on the phone with legendary scam buster Jim. <laughs> I'm speaking to Jim. They know. To Jim, no, I think it's a Jim Moot. Is it not Jim Moot? No, I'm I speaking to Jim. Probably a last name is Brownie. Yeah, well, well I, I'm Tyrone, so this is Tyrone, Tyrone Williamson. I'm not sure if it came in my name or, or what's happening, but like, I, you can put Tyrone Williamson down, that's fine. Okay. And what's your friend's name? Who's your favorite? Ivor, Ivor. This is Ivor. Okay. Ivor, yeah. Now, I'm calling Jamut with Arjun's number showing up on the caller ID. So Jamut <laughs> thinks he's getting a call from his boss when he picks up. Oh, shit. Hello. Remember, Rakesh is running to be in the same office with me. Hey, Jamut, did you hear what happened? <laughs> uh, did, did Arjun tell you what happened? I'm sorry, what? Uh, did, did somebody, uh, did you use the computer? Tell me about, did you see duck with the ID? The duck on the screen, remote ID. What duck? Are you mad at You duck saw the duck, what? the duck crawling on the screen. The clicking, the one that is, it is uh, working <laughs> on the screen, right? They got on the computer, they know everything about. What duck, man? The are duck you, on the computer. No, the duck on the computer, it's you walking don't. around. The duck is walking around, it's a virus. Is, is, is this Oh Jamut? my god. This is Jimmy, yeah. Okay, listen. Oh my god, okay, I'm very worried about it because they find the computer, they connecting about that. They saw everything. You're not seeing No, no, that. what are you talking about? Listen, pain short, I'm trying to help. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> now, I'm calling as Grant, an old army veteran that Arjun conned out of his retirement fund, and whose information I was able to get from the scammer's internal database. Thank you for calling online technical support. How can I help you? Uh, where's Eddie? Please hold on. Okay. Thanks for being on. Who is still there? Hello? Come on, man. Like, I know you just don't want to deal with it, but like, you don't feel bad at all? Like, zero? Like, please, please, I'm begging you. I'm on my hands and knees begging you to please have a heart and just do something. A hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. I just need to buy a new tent before the winter comes around. And the last thing I want to do is to have my, my ventilated son freeze to death, so... Please. I, I literally had to sell my last kidney just to like get through the last payment who take, from the hospital. Who take money? Who take money from you? I just told you who take. It was Eddie. Eddie? Yeah. Tech Karma. You take. Yo. No. Look. Please. I mean, I said. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> Look, please. Yo. This is not take karma. You know Arjun, right? Bro. That's your that's your boy. That's your buddy. You guys high five each other every time you scam somebody. Oh my god, high five. We just scammed somebody at fifteen hundred bucks. Great. 
So maybe you can ask Arjun and say, hey, Arjun, Bro. we should have a heart today because we made this guy go on the street and his son is dying. Maybe we should have a heart today. You think you can do that? No. Look, you can keep sitting there flaring your nostrils, inhaling and exhaling because you don't know what the f*** to say. <laughs> or you could be a decently commendable human being and just speak your mind. I'm <laughs> sorry. Oh my god, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm gone. <laughs> Hello? Hey. Yo. How are you? This is Grant. Um, is this Eddie by any chance? Tell me, sir, quickly. Quickly. What happened? Why you are calling again and again? Because you guys are... I'm, I'm on the street because of you. Oh, this Wait, Arjun, finally! Dude, please! This is Grant. Remember? You told me your name was Eddie. You took my money. 1500 bucks. I'm begging you, please. I'm on the street now. And honestly, I am struggling beyond belief. And Yo. I'm literally just calling over and over again to plead and beg with you guys. Can I please just feed my kid? Make sure we get a tent so we're not stuck outside in the cold. Like I, He I, have a lot of money, okay? He, he have a lot of money, so you, you don't worry about him. What are you talking about? Who's why are we talking to a third person? Listen, I don't have a lot of money. I don't have a lot of money. Don't waste your time. Listen, fuck I'm off. telling you, I will make fuck your off. life a living hell. If you want to fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for calling. How can I help you today? Tech Karma, that's you guys, right? Oh, uh, no, sir. What's your company name then? Maybe I wrote it down wrong. This is online support. That that's your name, like dictionary word, online support. Yes, sir. Uh, online support. Yeah. So how do how do people get their money back, Mister Online Support? <laughs> I don't know where you have spent your money. Oh, it was it was given to Tech Karma. I think I think it was, given, karma, it was given to Tech Karma, and then it helped Arjun Singh Yo. pay for his penthouse apartment. I think last <laughs> month. I think. Lack of buzzing means you don't help with them. <laughs> <laughs> so the bad news is Arjun is still out there running his scam. Gemini oh. contacted the legal authorities in India, giving them all the information we had, but they didn't do anything. They're not, bro. They probably went there and asked for a, a percentage or something because they're getting money. You know what I'm saying? In fact, word on the street is that the Indian authorities are in cahoots with the scammers. But don't fret. There is one way we can shut these scammers down together. Do me a favor and like and share this video so that we can raise more awareness about this stuff. It's time to finally stop these phone scams and the power that, uh, is in your hands. Oh man, that's a fact. The more people know, the more shit, you know what I'm saying? We can do something about it. Cause fuck bro, the craziest and best collab we could have gotten. Jim is an absolute legend. I gotta look him up cause I never heard of him before. I only know of the, the guy I was talking about earlier. Jim Brown and hacking skills plus owning his voice and trolling is the best combo. Hearing Jim Brown and yell at Tyrone is the holy grail. We never knew we needed it. <laughs> and that's a W video, bro. Uh, it's crazy, these scams, bro. But yo, that's my reaction. If y'all enjoyed this video, like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.